Hello everyone and welcome to my iOS 18 customization video. Today I will be organizing and customizing my new iPhone 16 Pro with an aesthetic control center and home screen makeover. I haven't customized my phone in a long time so I figured now is the chance to give it a spooky Halloween customization since the iOS 18 update allows you to tint your apps with a dark mode. So super excited to play with that. I will also also share with you my favorite features from the iOS 18 update as well as tips and tricks along the way. So I unboxed my new iPhone 16 Pro yesterday and I've been going the whole 24 hours without a case and honestly I'm getting a little nervous so I did overnight a case from Amazon. This is the same brand that I used for the whole year I had my iPhone 15 Pro. It's just a clear case. It's pretty cheap but I think it's pretty protective so I'm I'm gonna just slap this case on real quick as the first element of customizing my iPhone. The brand is called Tori and they come with a bunch of different colors and I really do like the fact that it also comes with a screen protector. There's also camera protectors, although I did try this last year and it really did mess up the camera quality. So I don't think I'm gonna put them on, but I feel like the ridge around the case is pretty kind of thick. So it is pretty protective. Oh, it has the MagSafe thing already built in. Wait, I didn't realize that. Last year, there was an option to kind of like stick the magnet in. I mean, I guess I kind of want to start using it. I don't know how I feel about MagSafe. It doesn't matter. I'm putting it on the phone <laughs> because I don't want to wreck the phone. So there it is. And then there's this sticker. And then the screen protector I will put on later, but definitely will because last year I did get scratches on my phone like very quickly. I don't know why. It said the screen coating was good, but it wasn't. <laughs> okay, if you are following along and customizing your phone with me, first thing you're gonna wanna do is update your phone if you haven't already. Now I thought because I didn't update my iPhone 15 yet and when I did the transfer over to the new phone. I figured that it wouldn't have the iOS 18 update, but it did. So if you haven't downloaded yours already, you're going to want to go to settings and then go to general and then software update. And it will say whether you have an update or not. For some reason, it even says that I do, but I know that I'm already in iOS 18. I'm confused, but Regardless, gonna update. I don't know how long this will take. Sometimes it does take a while. So I'm going to take a pause and go right over to Pinterest and just collect some cute backgrounds, kind of fall themed, but more dark. So more Halloween vibes to add to my home screen and even find some images for widgets that I wanna kind of scatter through the home screens. So let's go over and do that. If you want to be inspired, I will link my Pinterest board below with a bunch of these cute fall spooky Halloween wallpapers. <laughs> All right, we are up to date, even though I'm pretty sure we were before. But as you can tell, my screen is already kind of customized, but this has been customized for like a couple years now, and I do want to change it up a little bit. Now, I don't think I want to change up all the work I did with shortcuts. So we'll see if this gets changed when I actually tint the other apps. So we've got screen one, screen two, screen three, and then screen four is where it just loses all organization. Well, loses most of the customization. So I really want to just organize this bit and then get it ready so that I can make it all pretty. So I'm going to first off any apps that are in iCloud storage. I'm just gonna remove, I'll remove from home screen for now just because it's obvious I don't use them. All right, remove from home screen. Honestly, I never use GarageBand. I'm just gonna say delete. All right, everything else I think I want to keep. And then this screen mostly has to do with work and insurance and 
stuff. So I'm just leaving the screen as is with all of that on there. And then that's just my app library. Okay, now that everything is where I want it to be, I think I'm going to quickly change my home screen background so that I know what kind of theme I want to change these apps to. So on my lock screen, look at how cute we are. That was on our wedding day. I'm going to keep that <laughs> still so that I have something saved if I wanna go back to it. And then I'm gonna click the plus button here and go to photos and then all. And then I have three choices that I was thinking about at the top here. So I think I wanna make this my lock screen, not my home screen. And then click add, we'll change the rest later and then customize home screen. And instead for my home screen, I wanna bring this dark photo in just to give it, you know, a darker theme, a spookier theme, aesthetic Halloween vibe, even though they're flowers. You get the point, could make it even more dark, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep it natural, click done. That's the background. I like that there's a contrast with those gray icons on the first few pages. Let's see if I can get something that I like for the rest of them. So. I'm holding down, clicking edit, and then customize, which brings up this bottom area with the options. So you obviously have the light version, you have a dark version, which, oh, Libby and Netflix don't really go with that, but that's okay. There's the automatic, which will switch uh, between day and night automatically, and then tinted. And you can also make them, okay, large, which takes away the names, or small, keeps the names. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take the dropper tool and pick like maybe an orangey brownie color maybe, or like a gray color that could go with the other ones. If I pick that and then make it a little lighter, I'm undecided. Okay, maybe something like this. Okay, it does actually change the shortcut versions and it also changes the widgets, which I think I heard about it doing that, but I don't know how I feel about it actually. I like that it's cohesive. Obviously we have to change some of these more pretty pastel-y floral widgets. Okay, so we're going to toggle to Widget Smith, tried and true app that you can download in the app store. It is free, but there's some elements to it that are paid, but I don't pay for anything. So I have a bunch of these widgets that I've already used in the past. I think I'm gonna add a few um, with photos that I downloaded from Pinterest. So I have this whole widgets board that I added a couple fun different ones to. So I think I think I'm going to do this one. And so I'm gonna add a bunch of small ones. So choose from photos. I'm gonna change this first one by holding down an edit widget and it's gonna be one of the end ones, probably this one. Okay, interesting, it keeps that color. Okay, I like that, just wait. So let's click edit home screen and then we'll do this one as that one. I changed all of the widgets and clearly it stayed with the color. I'm hoping I can change this calendar clock situation to do the same thing. So if I go to Widgetsmith and click this, customize theme, if we do a kind of clay one, save, will it be the right color? Okay, it won't. Okay, I tried to fiddle with Widgetsmith. I couldn't find anything to change the clock to what I wanted. It just automatically customizes it based on the home screen, which I find kind of weird because then the photos didn't. So if I'm missing something, comment down below, steer me in the right direction. I mean, it goes with the theme. So fine by me, I guess. I needed to take my sweater off because I'm melting, but I really like the vibes. The one thing I want to let you know of if you don't already is that iOS 18 allows you to move your widgets around a little bit and they stay in their place. Once I go to edit home screen, I can move my apps around and they stay where I leave them. If I put these down here, they'll stay. Love. 
Okay, I don't really know if I'm set on this arrangement, but you get the idea. You can move the apps around, and I kind of like when they're a little bit more spread out, especially on this last page when there's just a few of them. It's just like my work page. I like it. That is it for the home screen customization. Now the moment we've all been waiting for is iOS 18 allows us to customize our control center. So let's go into my control center as it is right now. There is more of a circular look to it and I know you can change the shapes of different things and there are multiple pages. Let's figure out what we want to do here. So I'm going to play around a little bit, delete some icons and see what I want to even add. Okay, so I removed some of the apps that I don't think I would ever really use and to do that I just click the plus and then hit minus on what I wanted to remove and you can actually drag and make them bigger buttons but I kind of like the small dots more so so to add a control I just click add a control down here there's another really cool feature that I've heard about it's called the vehicle motion cues I had heard about these glasses where you wear them and there's this like liquid around them and if you wear them in the car you might not get as car sick I don't exactly know the logic behind why you get car sick but if anything I absolutely do so I'm gonna add this icon and I'll show you it a little bit later on and what it does on your phone because I always get car sick when I'm looking at my phone in the car and there are a ton of things that are already set by Apple that I can play with but I ended up downloading this other app from the App Store it's called iScreen and there's a bunch of different fun little ones that you can play with or just kind of cute little icons you can add but then some of them are practical so I'm gonna play around with that app and see what fun icons I can add okay in the control center of the app you've got a bunch of different options so you can track water consumption it looks like and then there's some other like roll the dice or flip a coin ones I think those are just for fun this one's interesting know how much storage you have but I think the launchers will probably be more practical so what I believe you can do is make them a small medium or a large and they can jump to a specific app so if I want wanted to jump to let's say YouTube you can change the icon I'm gonna use anything that's free let's be real and then just put YouTube so save control and then go back into control center add a control and then click launcher one I'm also gonna add the water one because I think that would be a great option to track water consumption if I do four and then complete twice I really like the way everything is is. Obviously, I'm used to some things being in certain spots, so I kept them. But as you can tell, I did add a little Instagram icon, so it'll bring up Instagram. And then I also added the toggle watch that makes my watch ding because I feel like I use the iPhone version on <laughs> my watch almost every single day and then obviously the YouTube toggle brings me to YouTube through iScreen so little bit of a workaround there but that's okay and then the second screen has a larger version of my phone and what's playing my third one has all my home settings and then there's a bunch of other different toggles down here so there's literally so much you can do with control center I love that you can now customize it I'm sure I will be playing with it a ton more as the weeks go on last but not least in the customization of my new phone I'm going to change my lock screen up a bit so I'm gonna press and hold click customize and then lock screen and I don't really like how it's blurring at the top of the image I'd rather it not do that so I just kind of zoomed it in I'm gonna keep the date at the top but I do want to change the font of the time make it a little bit thinner and then I'm gonna add 
a couple widgets. So I'm gonna add the temperature and you can add widgets that you customize through that iScreen app that I was telling you about. So I've got reminders, the temperature, and then my activity rings. And then you can also change the little buttons on the left and right bottom of the screen right now. And what it usually is, is the flashlight and camera. I'm gonna change the bottom right one, even though I'm it's gonna take me some time to get used to. Now that I have the camera control button, I really don't need the button on the bottom right, right? I think I'm gonna put the calculator. But if anything, let me know if you just upgraded to the iPhone 16 Pro and you have that camera control button, what are you adding to your lock screen? I'm curious. Let me know below. I think I like this as is, so I'm gonna click done. That's basically my iPhone customization. It goes from light to dark, a little spooky Halloween vibes with a touch of floral, which we love. The last little bit of the video will be talking through some of my most favorite features that they introduced for iOS 18. So as I mentioned, that motion cues button that I added, I'm gonna turn it on quickly and then go to my home screen. And you see those dots that are coming up on the screen? If I move my phone, those will move. So I'm really curious to test it out, get in the car and see if I get car sick. And you can even change it to automatically in vehicle so it will detect when you're in the vehicle and turn on. So we'll see how that goes. Really the most updates that they made were in the the messages app, I feel like, or at least the more exciting ones, I guess. So I'm gonna text my husband a bunch. He's probably gonna be like, what is happening? But that's fine. So if anything, you can edit texts. And I'm not saying like edit the words, but I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm just testing this out for the video. Okay, I noticed that it wasn't working. So if it's not working for you either, go into your settings, click predictive text on. There you go. So if you click this A, you can change the text to be more expressive. What else can you do? You can schedule a text. So can you take out the garbage and recycling? I'm gonna go to the plus button and then click send later. Our garbage and recycling go out Wednesday morning. So I'm gonna do <laughs> at 9 p.m. on Tuesday. Can you take out the garbage and recycling to my husband? Thanks, babe. The next thing you can do is react with different emojis. So once you touch and hold it, they used to be these like gray icons that were just a set number of different things. Now you can scroll through and pick different emojis, but also like whatever you want. I'm just gonna put the soup and yeah, you can react with whatever emoji you want. One other feature that is super interesting and probably super helpful if say your phone is stolen is you can lock and or hide apps from view. Now any apps that you know come with the phone, say this new passwords app as part of iOS 18, you can only lock with face ID. Anything that you download from the app store, you can then hide as well and no notifications will come up. So if I go to my app library all the way to the bottom, there will be a new spot. So it'll be hidden until face ID, face IDs you, and then it will show up there for you. So if someone steals my phone and say I do this with my banking apps, they will be even more locked and protected. They already have passcodes, but just one layer of protection is obviously a good thing. The last little fun feature change that they made is in the camera app. So now when you are filming, you can actually pause mid clip. So for example, I'm gonna hit record. I am starting my video right now. And then I'm gonna click pause and then hit resume. So for any content creators out there, I feel like that will be a great addition to the camera feature. Obviously there are a ton more features with the iOS 18 update that I could share, but those are a couple of my favorites and there will be more with Apple Intelligence releasing next month. I'm pretty sure it's October that they're releasing the update. So super excited for that. If you did like this Halloween iPhone customization video, be sure to give this video a like Comment down below if you're also giving your phone a makeover and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.